Ask him if he wants some more. Try. Mm. Mm. Wow, good job. You want to go all the way to the top? Keep going. No? I got you. Keep going. You could do it. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Um, it is 6.50 a.m. And it feels so weird because it's so bright outside because um, of daylight savings time change. I can never remember if daylight savings ends or if daylight saving begins. I don't know, but it's light outside. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so strange. I keep feeling like I'm running late everywhere. Um, but yeah, I just finished my Pilates class. I took a 6 a.m. class today, which I like to do on Tuesdays if I can. Um, <clears throat> because Tuesday is the only day I can take an early morning class because my husband is off too. So he's home with the kids, obviously. Um, so I like taking the 6 a.m. class, even though it's kind of hard to get up. But I always feel like it just starts my day out. In, on such a positive note <laughs> uh, so yeah um, since I felt so positive I felt like I should just turn the camera on and say hi to you guys um, today will be kind of a busy day I think this actually is gonna be a very busy week because today like I said it's Tuesday yesterday I worked uh, tomorrow we are having our open house for our new studio so it won't be open tomorrow, but we'll have in like an open house for the members that have already joined to come in and see the studio for, you know, members of our other studios or just people in the community who want to see the studio can come. And then Thursday is our soft open. Um, so we'll start running uh, intro classes. Uh, intro classes are just a 30 minute class to kind of introduce people to the club Pilates uh, setup. So if you guys have a club Pilates in your area, even if it's not a new studio, they still have intro classes. So if you're interested, then you can sign up for an intro class and get a 30 minute class complimentary. Um, and that will kind of give you a basis of what a regular 50 minute class would look like. Um, and they will give you information. And oftentimes they will have deals for you to sign up as well um, if you choose to. But I definitely recommend if you're interested or just curious, then take an intro class because you may be surprised. Um, Pilates may not be what you think it is, especially if you have been used to doing Pilates like video workouts. It's not the same as what you would do at a club Pilates. I mean, some of it is the same, some of it's not. Uh, and I really feel like for Pilates, I may be, it may just be because we own some Pilates studios, but I feel like for Pilates, it's one of those things that's better with a person teaching you as opposed to a video. Not saying that videos can't be like good, but I feel like now if I do a Pilates video at home, I do a better job with my form, um, which is important so that you're working what you're trying to work. Whereas when I did not know do any Pilates or anything and I just turn on a video, I don't know what the heck I was doing, probably just injuring myself, you know what I'm saying? So I would say definitely check it out. It's not gonna be for everybody. Um, I mean, I think Pilates is for everybody, <laughs> but you know, I, I understand that, you know, everybody has different preferences, but I would definitely say check it out because you might be surprised and it might be something you actually really end up enjoying. I, for one, am not a person who enjoys working out, but I enjoy going on my Pilates classes. Okay. That's over. <laughs> this was not supposed to turn into an advertisement. Uh, so anyway, I was saying Thursday is our soft open. So we'll be doing intro classes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday we'll be open for regular classes. And I'm so excited because this has been such a long time coming. This studio has taken the longest to open because of things outside of our control. But I just keep, I told my husband, I'm like, you know what? It's, this is working out how it's supposed to be. God has a plan. 
we don't know why it took so long but here we are and I'm sure that there was reasoning behind it we just may not know that reason but <laughs> I'm glad that it's about time for it to be open now so yeah today I'll go to the studio and I will probably as long as it's not too much going on in there I'll probably um, show y'all what the studio is looking like thus far and then I'll definitely show you guys later on this week once we're actually um, open so I'm excited but it will be a busy day because today we have to do like a lot of last minute things like you know most of our stuff gets delivered there but there's like because this studio was supposed to open a long time ago <laughs> we had a bunch of stuff delivered that's been sitting at our house and I cannot wait for it to get out like you know like retail merchandise all that stuff has been sitting at our house so um we could have gotten a storage, but we have the room in our house, so we're like, why pay for storage when we can just store it here? <laughs> um, so yeah, so today we're gonna be taking all that stuff up there, uh, setting up computers and all, uh, security is getting installed and everything. So I'll show you guys as much as I can um, in case you're interested. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm gonna get home to my kiddos getting them ready for school get myself ready to go and I'll check in with y'all later bye all right so I am at home goods I'm picking these up for the bathroom at the studio, one in each bathroom. That I really, really like. It's really long. show y'all more today but I've been actually really busy um, just trying to get like last minute items and helping like to set out the retail unpack all that stuff and kind of clean up and all and get situated so everything's looking pretty good I mean of course we're still not done so yeah but I feel like we got a lot done today but now it's time for me to go pick up the kids from school so I had to leave. My husband is still going to be there. So, yeah. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'll keep y'all posted. Hey, y'all. So, it is much later. And I got my Sephora package. So, I figured I would share it with you guys. I decided not to do, like, a separate video because I literally only got two things. But I did want to share it with you guys. Because I'm super excited about one of the things I got. I'll show you the boring purchase first. This is just a brush. Um, it's one that I already have, and I have been wanting another one, and I saw it was on clearance, so I went ahead and got it before they discontinued it. I can't really show it to you guys, but it's like a big stippling brush. I'll try to insert a picture of it because I don't feel like unwrapping all of this. And then the thing that I was super excited about was this baby here. And this baby here is the reason that I only got two products. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Easily the most expensive fragrance I've ever purchased. So, I've never smelled this. I have looked at it for a little while now. Probably about maybe like two months or so. But no stores close to me sell it, so I haven't been able to smell it, but this is what the box looks like. Oh, this bottle is gorgeous. It's like a red bottle with kind of like pinkish trim. Very nice. This is the smallest size it comes in. <clears throat> so here's a test. 
Mm. Oh, so far, so good. Let's see. Mmm, I like it. So I definitely smell like cherries and almond, which I knew was in there. So that was like the thing that made me want this. Cherries, almond, maybe vanilla. It smells really good. You know what it reminds me of though? The old school Jergens scent, the Jergens soap scent, the cherry vanilla or whatever. It doesn't smell like that because it definitely smells a lot more complex than that, but that's what it reminds me of. Sweet, but also like tart and tangy. Mm, I cannot wait to wear this. This smells really good. Okay, so I will be wearing this tomorrow um, because I want to make sure that this wears well. Um, Y'all know that longevity for me is not really a huge issue. Like if something doesn't last all day, that doesn't mean that I won't keep it. However, for this much money, if it doesn't last like at least about six hours on me, then it's going back. So I will be trying this out tomorrow. And I'll have to let y'all know what I think. Cause tonight, I mean, I'm only, I'm gonna be going to bed soon. So yeah, super, super excited have this though okay so i'm gonna go ahead and go but i wanted to share this with you guys i cannot wait to wear this it smells so good and definitely different than anything i own mm. okay all right i'll see y'all there hey y'all i just got back from the grocery store i went to work out this morning and then i went to the grocery store so i figured i would give y'all a quick little grocery haul um, because I think I have some different stuff this time around. So, let's just hop right on in. Alright, got some milk for the kiddos. And some coffee for mommy. More milk. Got some creamer for my husband. And my husband likes American cheese, which I don't like but that's what he wants so that's what i got him <laughs> i picked up these um rice this rice cauliflower from green giant i've tried i don't think i've tried this flavor before it's lemon and garlic but maybe i have i'm not sure um but i plan on cooking this tonight with some braised chicken thighs um so we'll see how that turns out i usually eat the braised chicken thighs with rice but uh, my husband's not eating any rice right now <laughs> like any rice or potatoes or anything like that for like the next couple weeks and I'm trying not to as well. So I figured I would try this. Got him some yogurt. Uh, this is the Oikos and vanilla and then strawberry cream. These are both for my husband. I got the triple zero for him as well, strawberry and another vanilla. And he asked for some beef sausage, which I'm not a beef sausage eater. So I don't know if this is going to be good or not. But this is the only one I really found. So hopefully he likes it. He'll try farm. Next up, I got some of these apple sauces for my kids. They're in the squeezable packs. I've never tried the Mott's one. I usually get the Go Go Squeeze brand, I think. Um, but I saw these and I think they're new. And they're in a clear pouch, which I like. So got that. Picked up some more of these English muffins, the cranberry ones. So good. Got some almonds. These are habanero barbecue, and these are like the best almonds ever. They're a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. I picked up one of my Lily's um, salted almond uh, chocolate bars, and these are the ones that are sweetened with stevia. I don't buy these as much as I used to because I was getting out of hand with them, like buying them every time I go to the grocery store. <laughs> so um, I don't buy them as often as I used to, but I still do really enjoy these. I just try to like limit my consumption. Got some wine. Um, this was on sale. It's the brand of Santa Cristina. I've never tried it before, but they were buying it one free. So I got Pinot Grigio and Bianco. I usually drink red wine, 
uh, but these were on sale and I, I don't know, I kind of been wanting to try some more white wines because I've been drinking more ribs. Lately, I actually have not been drinking any wine, like for the past couple weeks, but um, I always like to have some here just in case. And then I also picked up a bottle of champagne and this is uh, Frexinet Cordon Negro. I don't think I've ever had this brand, but um, y'all know the studio will be opening. And so I wanted to buy like a bottle of champagne to celebrate either tonight or this weekend. Uh, tonight is open house, but officially will be open for business tomorrow. So probably be like tomorrow, Friday or whatever. If I didn't mention it before, today is Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. All right, next up, I picked up some grapes. And these say Sweet Carnival. I don't know if these are supposed to taste like the candy, um, what's it called, cotton candy grapes. But we shall see how they taste. Bananas, strawberries. I got this salad for myself. This is what I'm eating for lunch today. I've never had this one, so hopefully it's good. I was gonna go to Chick-fil-A and get a salad, but I figured I should just get something from Publix while I was there. And I got this bag of Honeycrisp apples. Picked up some Brussels sprouts. We needed butter, and I usually don't buy this, but I decided to. This is Smart Balanced Butter. Like I said, I usually buy like real, real butter. Um, the Smart Balance is supposed to be like heart healthy butter. Um, but I don't know, I've kind of seen some conflicting things on that, but this was buy one get one free. And I do have high cholesterol, so I remember back in the day when I went to a nutritionist, uh, cause I've had high cholesterol since I was like in middle school. Um, back in the day, this was one of the things that they recommended that we use as opposed to regular butter. So I bought it. <laughs> um, got some mushrooms. I picked these up. These are, um, the real good brand pizza. And this is one we made with cauliflower crust. Now I tried the little small personal pizzas they have that are made with like the crust that's made out of chicken. I do not like those. You can taste too much chicken in them. But these are cauliflower pizzas. And I was in there looking for a cauliflower pizza and I saw they had this now and it's on, it was buy one get one free. So I went ahead and picked up two of them. Um, so hopefully these taste good. We usually, the kids usually get pizza like on Fridays or Saturdays, some at some point during the week, some sort of pizza or cheese stick or something. So I figured this weekend, maybe we'll try this and see how they like it. Uh, I guarantee you my son is not gonna eat it, but Chloe probably will. So um, for nutrition, it's 320 calories per serving. A serving size of this is, ha is one fourth of the pizza. So a quarter of this pizza is a serving size. And that would be 320 calories, 22 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs. So that's where it really makes a difference is the 12 grams of carbs. Um, and five of those are fiber. So really that's seven grams of net carbs in this and 19 grams of protein. So pretty good on the nutrition side. So we'll, well, you know, not like eating a vegetable, but <laughs> not bad on the nutrition side, when you, especially when you're talking about a pizza. So, and this is the margarita flavor. This is the only one that I saw. So I got two of these. Picked up some chicken thighs to cook tonight and some veggie straws. These are the individually packed ones. Um, and I like to give these to my kids for snacks. So that's it for my little grocery haul. I'm going to put all the stuff away and go take a shower and get ready to run more errands. So I will see y'all later.